So today I want to talk to you about how we use membranes commercially. Okay. So one of the separations that membrane in industry do, so not mine, but industry membranes do, is they produce nitrogen enriched streams from air. So air is made of nitrogen and oxygen, and membranes can separate these two so you just have nitrogen and no oxygen. And you're like, why would you want to do that? Okay, great. Well, uh, if you don't have oxygen, there's a couple of things that can't happen. Uh, one, you can't have a fire, so things don't burn without oxygen. Uh, so one of the ways we use this nitrogen-rich stream is we blanket cruise ships with it. And if you blanket a cruise ship with it, then the cruise ship doesn't go up in flames and might sink and then spoil the oceans. Not bad. The other thing is if you don't have oxygen, your fruit will spoil at slower rates, right? It can't be oxidized or bananas don't rot. So Alaska can have blueberries in the middle of winter. And in Kansas, you can have fruit, you know, because we don't exactly have papayas growing outside our homes in December. So that's another good thing. And you're like, okay, so great. Yay. Why do I care about this? Well, let me tell you. So nitrogen and oxygen are super similar to each other. Like they are basically the same size. The difference in size is less than two hundredths of a nanometer. And you're like, okay, I have no concept of what two hundredths of a nanometer is. Very small, right? No. Okay, well, let me give you some idea. So if you were to take one strand of hair, of your hair, just one strand, that is about 50 microns. If you were to then take that one piece of hair and you were to split it into a hundred thousand pieces, you need a really small knife. <laughs> you would have lots of split ends. That would be the size difference in these between these two molecules. That's crazy, right? Like you can separate your dirty clothes from your clean clothes, but you definitely can't even see something like that, right? There's no way you could separate that, but I can. Uh -huh. So, prop time. I have a matrimid membrane for you today. It's different from the other membrane that I had. It is a nice, pretty yellow color. The other one I had was burnt orange. That was a blend of PBI and matrimid. This is just pure matrimid. So, this membrane is pretty thick. Compared to the, the split ends of your hair, this is a pretty thick sheet, right? And so the cool thing about this is that the separating layer of this is not actually thick. So the separating layer, the layer that actually says, okay, oxygen this way, nitrogen this way, is on the order of several hundred nanometers, right? So you see like other people talk about nanotech and they work with it on lab scale and they can build really cool things, but they're not, it's really difficult to scale them up. That's the problem with nanotechnology. We can do it in a lab, but we can't like have a factory that produces a huge sheet of this perfectly ordered material, except for membranes. Membranes, we can't do that. We've developed a process a long time ago, well, like 50 years ago, that we produce this nano size structure that separates these even smaller molecules that differ by only a tiny, tiny, tiny amount. And we can use it for all kinds of things. Safety, food processing. We make our refineries more efficient with these. Yeah, that's cool. Lower CO2 emissions, helping the environment. We also produce fresh water with them. Super cool. So I bet you didn't think of my membranes as nanotech, but they totally are. 